guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Kat Methan. Um, for those of you that don't know me, for those of you that are here every week, you hear me say this every week, so hello. Today's yoga stretch is all about the posterior chain. So I was recently talking um, in a caption on Instagram about hamstrings and how Everyone's very obsessed with the hamstrings, thinking that kind of, and, and don't get me wrong, a lot of the time the hamstrings are what's tight, but I think that sometimes when we are on this quest for like a forward fold, you know, being able to touch the toes, things like that, our mind instantly assumes it's just the hamstrings that we need to stretch, when actually it's just the whole of the back body. So you might actually have quite open hamstrings, but it may be that maybe your calves are quite tight, maybe your lower back is quite tight, and all of those things, they are going to then stop you from going deeper into a pose or into a stretch. So today's practice is all about stretching out all the way through the back body, and that's what we're gonna do. What I'd like you to grab is a strap if you have one. If you haven't got a strap, maybe just grab like a tea towel or like a small towel or, I don't know, a t-shirt would be fine if you're happy just to roll it up. And if you have a block, then grab a block. If not, maybe just grab kind of a big cushion. It's just in case you are very tight and you need to prop yourself up on a block um, when we get started. So we're gonna start over on the knees. So just closing off the eyes, we're just gonna ground down into our practice as we always do. Either palms facing down or you could take the palms facing up. Grow tall through the crown of the head and ground down through the shins, the tops of the feet, all parts of the body connected to the mat. And just come to observe the breath. Those inhales, the exhales, in through the nose and out through the nose. And just focusing there. So maybe you have found this video not because you are a yogi as such, but maybe you lift weights, maybe you're a runner, and this is gonna be a sequence that is great for you. So this beginning part is us connecting to the breath. It's what we do in yoga before every practice, coming to be present within the practice so that our focus can be on nothing other than the mind and the body and the breath. And as we work through the sequence, the stretches today, I want you to really try and focus on that breath, especially the exhales. The exhale is where you're gonna find a little bit more depth in each stretch. Take a big shoulder roll back and flutter open the eyes. Just place the fingertips down in front of you. Come to tuck under those toes. So now coming into a toe stretch. So already working the back body, but obviously with the back of the feet. If you see my pup walk into screen, this is Simba. Okay, so really stretching out through the backs of the toes, the feet, and you can drop the chin to the chest and here you're gonna find a stretch through the back of the neck. If this is too intense for you, you can come down to the fingertips just to take a little bit of weight off the feet. And slowly releasing. Release those toes, give them a little tap. And then just come to sit back on the heels. You're gonna interlace the hands. Take the hands behind the head and just slowly start to fold the body. Now here, you're gonna feel this stretch, kind of almost like a weird sensation. Not quite the same stretch that you'd find if you were doing a standard quad stretch or something like that. It's gonna feel a little bit tingly, a bit more energetic. So interlacing the hands, rounding the spine, slowly bringing the head down. And maybe going a little bit lower, so rounding the whole way. Feeling that stretch travel down to the lower spine as you round even more. And 
Seeing if you can round a little bit lower. So this stretch should be feeling all through the neck and all across the spine, all the way down to the base of the spine. You just see how low you can come to. You don't need to push it. If you're feeling the stretch, it's fine. But if you can come a little bit lower, then by all means do. And then slowly everyone lowering themselves down to a narrow leg child's pose. So this is a nice way, if you're feeling really tight, if you know you have quite a tight back, this is quite a nice way to feel supported in a rounded stretch. So the spine is a bit rounded, but I'm supported on my thighs. And just let the forehead again, the top of the head, relax down onto the mat. On your inhale, you're going to peel all the way up, keeping that rounded spine. Head and neck are coming last. Okay, coming on over to all fours, place the hands down, spread through the fingers. So you are in this all fours position, nicely stacked wrist, elbow, shoulder. You're going to take the right foot back, place the, tip, the toes down and push back through that right heel. So we're getting a nice big stretch through the calves here. So you can really push through those hands. Right heel goes away to the back of the mat. Working with the breath. Those of you familiar with your Ujjayi breath, you can tap into that throughout our practice. If not, just staying with the inhales and exhales through the nose. And coming all the way back to all fours. This time let's take the left foot out. Again, push that left foot away. You might notice instantly one side is tighter than the other. That's fine. We're pretty much made up of imbalances in the body. This is through yoga, through stretching, through exercise. We slowly, slowly can start to balance that out as long as we're aware of our bodies and aware of our posture. Really spread down into the fingers. And coming all the way back. Okay, spread through the fingers, gonna tuck under the toes, fly the bottom all the way back for a downward facing dog. So, if you've got a nice strong downward facing dog, you know your alignment, just spend a little bit of time pedaling out through the feet. Those of you maybe slightly newer to it, you're just gonna look to the hands, spread through the hands, take the head through the arms, maybe taking that gaze between the lower leg. Feet are about hip width apart, Externally rotating the shoulders, seeing if we can bring those elbows towards each other. Trying not to flare the ribs. And then we'll all take a few nice big pedals. So let's bend the right knee and push down through the left foot. And then switch. Ne left knee bends in, right heel goes down towards the mat. So don't worry too much if the heels aren't on the mat. You can keep a little bend in the knees. So if you need to do this with a little bend, that's fine. And then coming back. And then we're all going to bend the knees here. And then you're going to feel the stretch change. So the stretch is now down the Achilles, down the backs of the ankles, rather than feeling it all up through the hamstrings. So stretching out through the lower leg. Nice, come to straighten those legs. Start to walk the feet towards the center of your mat, feet hip width apart, and then bring the hands towards the feet. Taking a bend in the knees, you're gonna let the head hang heavy. You're gonna take hold of opposite elbows. 
and just hold on here, shifting the weight towards the front of the feet. We're going to be here a few moments and over the time that we're here, you might slowly find that you're able to straighten the legs a little bit more. It doesn't matter if they don't go fully straight. And every time you notice that the weight has shifted back, normally when you find that the stretch has got a little bit easier or you've eased off the stretch, that's when the weight has fallen back into the heel. So what you want to think about is shifting the weight forwards towards the ball of the foot, having to engage those hamstrings a little bit more. It's an active stretch and letting the body hang down. And close off the eyes. Just feel into the body, feel into the breath, notice any resistances that come up, any temptations to move away from the stretch. Just know that you are exactly where you need to be right now. Just be kind to the body though. Okay, interlace the hands behind the head, draw chin to chest, bend the knees, and as you start to roll the body all the way up standing, super slowly start to feel that stretch again all through the back body. And come all the way up to standing. Okay, so standing tall, we're gonna take the hands interlaced behind the head again. And we're gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, we're gonna round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. You can bend the knees. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. This time you're going to hold here. So a slight bend in the knees. Chin to chest. Rounding through the spine. Come and release the hands. Come a little bit deeper, start to roll all the way back down to your forward fold. Bend the knees, come to sit down on the heels. So you can be up on the toes, so now feeling it through the backs of the Achilles. Just working on a little balance here. Hands come to heart center, use the breath. And slowly release all the way down, bring the bottom down to the mat. Okay, so this is where your block's gonna come into play. If you, if you know that you are living in quite a tight body, then you can sit the bottom up on a block. Okay, grabbing your strap. So when we work on what's called Paschimottanasana in yoga, so an intense forward fold, we are seated forward fold. Um, you're gonna have the feet flexed. By flexing the feet, we are switching on. So it's an active stretch. It's not a kind of flop. It's an active stretch. The body is working. Now what we find in this stretch is that if you're a little bit tighter, then your back is naturally rounding and you're unable then to feel the hamstring stretch, which is why a strap really helps. So if you just take the strap around the feet, also helps keep the uh, legs switched on. Inhale and find length in the spine. And then as you exhale, find that it's the belly that wants to connect with the thighs rather than the head wanting to connect with the knees. Because naturally in a lot of these stretches we see this. But what we wanna do right now is keep length in the spine and try to focus on the legs. 
So forehead, crown of the head is going out diagonally. Maybe you can creep those hands forwards. Staying with the breath. On an inhale, just ease away from the stretch a little bit and then exhale, see if you can come a little bit deeper. On an inhale, coming all the way up, release the stretch and now you're gonna feel the difference. We're gonna roll the spine, rounding it down and just let the head hang heavy. So now, probably feeling, rather than it being a hamstring stretch, it's a stretch across the back body, across the spine. Opening through the back of the neck. On an inhale, coming to lift all the way up. Shift the bottom forwards. You're gonna come down to the mat now, laying down on your mat. So hug the knees into the chest. Take a little rock side to side. And then start to take a little rock forwards and backwards. So just using this rocking motion as a way to massage the spine. And then come back to lay down. Find your strap or your t-shirt or your tea towel, whatever it is that you've got. Take the strap around the right leg. Take the left leg down to the mat. You can then start to draw that leg in towards the chest. You don't want to be like yanking the leg down. Okay, so we're feeling the stretch through the quads. So the reason I asked to use a strap is because if we don't use a strap and we have a quite a tight body, what you find is the leg needs to then be bent in order for somebody to be able to take hold of it. If we have a strap and you can keep your leg straight, it doesn't matter if it's even here, as long as you're feeling the stretch down the back of the leg. Just gentle pressure. And then you're going to release that leg. You can either keep the leg straight. I'm going to have to bend it because I do not have enough space with the wall. And so with that right leg, you're going to take the left hand onto the right knee and start to draw the right knee across the body. Head goes out over to the right. And your right arm is out as well. As you can see, I'm squashed against a wall, unable to go anywhere. So this is less about the back body. We're just working a little spinal twist in here, but you hopefully will be able to feel it a little bit down the glutes and the IT band. And like I said, if you want to keep the strap in your hand and do this with a straight leg, you can do that too. You're just going to have to work a little bit more on a strength level than just the stretch. And close off the eyes. Inhaling, come back through center. Let's take this right foot onto the left knee. You're going to interlace the hands behind the left leg 
and start to draw the legs towards you. You can use this right elbow on your right knee to help get a little bit deeper and you want to flex this right foot to protect the knee. If you want to add in a little hamstring stretch here as well, you could start to straighten that left leg. But you want to make sure that you're working both of them as best possible. So sometimes, even though this does feel nice, for me, it's, it's better for me to work my hamstring separately and then do this with the bent leg. I feel like I get more out of it, but it's up to you. Everybody's a little bit different. And slowly release that right leg. Take the right leg all the way down to the mat. Grab your strap, take the strap around the left leg and start to draw that left leg in towards the body. Okay, maybe easing off on an inhale, find a little bit more length, and then deepening on the exhale. And taking that left arm out to the side, either bending the knee and taking the right hand to the left knee, crossing it over the body, or keeping that leg straight, you can take it over straight. And again, maybe closing off the eyes. Just taking that gaze inwards, feeling a little bit of an opening through the spine. Coming back through center, taking the left ankle on top of the right knee, threading the hands through, interlacing behind the right thigh, maybe taking that left hand to the left knee, pushing it open a little bit, flex the left foot. And again, remember if you wanna add a little hamstring stretch in the right leg, by all means, you can straighten that right leg. And slowly releasing, nice. Hug those knees into the chest. Start to take a little rock and a roll forwards. Again, just massaging through the back body. And then come to a comfortable seated position. So maybe you need to sit yourself up on a block, that's fine. Maybe just sitting cross-legged. Interlace hands behind the head. Take an inhale and then exhale round. Draw that head down, chin to chest. So just rounding that spine the whole way down. On an inhale, coming up. Release hands down onto the knees. Sit tall through the crown of the head. Hmm. 
Take a nice big inhale through the nose and we'll let it, let it all out through the mouth. Inhale. And again, inhale. Bring the hands to heart center. Namaste. So thank you all so much for stretching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that your back body is feeling nice and open. Please do comment below and let me know how you got on. Let me know sort of if you maybe discovered that actually it's not your hamstrings that are tight. Maybe it's the calves or the spine or something like that. Um, but anyway, I hope that you found that useful um, and you're feeling nice and chilled now. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.